today we we broadcast to all the world <laughs> okay we are ready to go i'm going to go ahead and mute everybody else and father whenever you're ready to start it's you uh, feel free to begin all right okay So if you, <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> do you have a particular topic that you're discussing yes, today? Yes, we. Uh, yes, I will just introduce it. so to all those who will be listening, and so I started. I started. Uh, just a short reminder or introduction that um, last week I started the topic of of the beauty of the soul living in the divine will of God. Souls living in divine will surpass all other creation. And we already, I have a lot of different uh, references to the book. So we went through volume passages from volume seven. Today we will start with volume eight, and I will be announcing like. And we we uh, so what I do I I just uh, uh, read the passage and we meditate, reflect on this, and we oh so today I I suppose we'll we will go through volume eight maybe ten and so on further. So we I I'm going to continue all this. Uh, uh, for probably next couple of weeks, this this theme. Uh, I know that you you are seeing this reverse, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> so uh, it was wonderful to welcome everyone. Uh, welcome everyone in. Uh, of divine will of God, cynical, and I think uh, uh, today we may expect more and more people to be connected and linked. Uh, as far as I know, we are live. This is a live broadcast. So, uh, okay. Uh, there are still our group here is uh, coming. So uh, uh, hopefully they will be quiet. Okay, so let me start with, let me start, let, let's, welcome, welcome everyone. Hello, all right. So uh, let me start, we, we will start, uh, I know the people are still, probably will be coming, so. Let me start with Prevenient Act. We probably know uh, Prevenient Act, so it gives us a little more time uh, in, in place of introduction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, Mother and Queen of the Divine Will, I entreat you by the infinite merits of the sacred heart of Jesus and by the graces God has granted to you since your immaculate conception, the grace of never going astray. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I am poor and unworthy sinner, and I beg of you the grace to allow our mother and Louisa to form in me the divine acts you purchased for me and for everyone. <clears throat> These acts are the most precious of all, for they carry the eternal power of your fiat, and they await my yes, you will be done. Fiat voluntas tua. So I implore you, Jesus, Mary, and Louisa, to accompany me as I now pray. I am nothing, and God is all. Come, divine will. Come, heavenly Father, to beat in my heart and move in my will. Come, beloved Son, to flow in my blood and think in my intellect. Come, Holy Spirit, to breathe my lungs and recall in my memory. I fuse myself in the divine will and place my I love you and adore you and I bless you, God, in the fiats of creation. 
With my I love you, my soul biolocates in the creations of the heavens and the earth. I love in the stars, in the sun, in the moon, and in the skies. I love in the earth, in the waters, and in every living creature my Father created out of love for me, so that I may return love for love. I now enter into Jesus' most holy humanity that embraces all acts. I place my adore you, Jesus, in your every breath, heartbeat, thought, word, and step. I adore you in the sermons of your public life, in the miracles you performed, in the sacraments you instituted, and in the most intimate fibers of your heart. I bless you, Jesus, in your every tear, blow, wound, thorn, and each drop of blood that unleash light for the life of every human. I bless you in all your prayers, reparations, offerings, and each of the interior acts and pains you suffered up to your last breath on the cross. I enclose your life and all your acts, Jesus, with my I love you, I adore you, and I bless you. I now enter into the acts of my mother Mary and of Louisa. I place my I thank you and Mary and Louisa's every thought, word, and action. I thank you in the embrace joys and sorrows of Jesus' redemption and of the Holy Spirit's sanctification. Fuse in your acts, I make my I thank you and I bless you flow in the relations of every creature to fill their acts with light and life, to fill the acts of Adam and Eve, of the patriarchs and prophets, of the souls of the past, present and future, of the holy souls in purgatory, of the holy angels and saints, I now make these acts my own, and I offer them to you, my tender and loving Father. May they increase the glory of your children, and may they glorify, satisfy, and honor you on their behalf. Let us now begin our day with our divine acts used together. Thank you, most holy Trinity, for enabling me to enter into union with you by means of prayer. May your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Fiat, fiat voluntas tua, fiat voluntas tua, fiat voluntas tua, amen. Welcome once again, welcome everyone. <clears throat> so I, uh, just to remind you, I uh, have these talks every Tuesday at 10 a.m. I think it's central time, yes, yeah? so, <laughs> and today I see there, there, there may be uh, more and more people see joining us it's uh, wonderful so uh, you know uh, I, I was uh, last week uh, we I started the topic of the beauty of the soul and I just want to say that after return from the conference with father Solso and a group in Maria Stein in Ohio uh, it was really <clears throat> wonderful and uh, 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 wonderful a wonderful wonderful retreat and conference like and really uh, uh, put I think many people on fire and uh, just uh, recall those who were there and remember you know I, I re when we entered the retreat center you know the on the screen there was this welcome little children of divine will of God blessed Virgin Mary and then I it was funny for me that at the end of the retreat, when Father Salsa was saying about we are the army of the Lord, this is why I wear wear uh, uh, military boots. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we we may be called the little children of God, but indeed, uh, this is the divine will of God is so 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 beautiful and powerful, and. Uh, as kind of sort of uh, introduction that just to uh, remind you or, or uh, for those uh, you, you I suppose that most of you who are listening you you know a lot about divine will of God and you know for me personally there was something uh, I, I mentioned last week in my in my conference talk that uh, uh, something was constantly like calling me uh, like um, ringing right, like the 
bells, divine will bells, yeah, ringing something, ringing in my heart that uh, uh, what would be the, the most, most uh, wonderful, most beautiful, kind of most uh, awesome way of, of, of living our faith as we think we are Catholic, yeah, we, we are baptized, we are Catholic, we're baptized, baptized in the Holy, in the, in the Holy Trinity. Uh, and we have our Catholic church, Catholic faith. We have sacramental life. We have Holy Eucharist, Holy Mass. We have rosary prayer. We have uh, all uh, d different devotions and saints. And, and Something is constant. Something through my uh, almost th more than thirty-seven years of priesthood. Something is ringing. Something was constantly ringing in my mind that that you know there there must be something on a on a larger on a bigger scale, like in a more powerful, more awesome. And it was like a dream that would it be wonderful. Uh, and, and I suppose this this is the whole purpose and goal of our faith of belief to to uh, uh, how how if God would act in the way that we would be able to go back to the to this ori original state of life, original state of living, like without uh, in a beautiful. Uh, perfect uh, uh, union with 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 God in dwelling God in dwelling in us in our hearts in our lives that we we would live lives like without sin would be something beautiful unimaginable almost and well there there it is there is the gift of living divine will of God which which uh, guides us leads us uh, uh, is which is this the <clears throat> uh, the way the way of truth to to life to the perfect beautiful divine life in god and uh, as, as kind of introduction continuation of our of our uh, uh, conference uh, i Perhaps you you probably you know the uh, uh, the calendar. Uh, uh, this is calendar for May. Month of uh, May, month of Our Lady calendar for for every day and <clears throat> something. I, I want to start from the calendar. From <clears throat> you you may just take a note of this and. Uh, because it was just a few days ago, uh, on Sunday, 19th. And this is so, so incredible, powerful reading. <clears throat> uh, from, and I would like to refer to this, it's... Mm, uh, from from May 9th, 19th, sorry, May May 19th, 1931, volume 29. I would like to start from from the passage from this if if you read the calendar, okay? So it was just Sunday 19th, yeah? Yeah, 19th, 19th calendar. Yeah, May nineteenth, nineteen thirty-one, volume twenty-nine. Just okay, and uh, Jesus explained to Louisa something beautiful about Blessed Virgin Mary and about Louisa. When we, you know, we talking about the uh, the uh, beauty of of the soul, beauty of this this living in divine will of God. <clears throat> and uh, uh, so, uh, just listen. I, I will just read the passage. You you can go back to to this to this uh, uh, May nineteenth. Uh, 
volume 29, May 19, 1939. So I will just want to, I want to put some, uh, uh, read some passages because so, so powerful and so interesting. So Jesus is explaining them. Uh, uh, now, while I was, why uh, Louisa was thinking about this, <clears throat> She was in the in, in the acts of, of of in the rounds of creation, and now while I was thinking about this, my beloved Jesus told me, "My daughter, my love was not extinguished because of the fall of man, but became more ignited, and even though my justice justly punished him and condemned him." My love, kissing my justice without delay, promised the future redeemer and said to the deceitful serpent, with the empire of my power, you have made use of a woman to snatch men from my divine will, and I, by means of another woman who will have in her power the power of my fiat, will knock down your right and with her immaculate foot she will crush your head that's a powerful passage going back to the book of genesis and and uh, jesus continued these words burned the infernal serpent more than hell itself and he stored so much rage in his heart that he could no longer stay still. He would do nothing but go round and round the earth to discover she who was to crush his head, not in order to let it be crushed, but so as to be able with his infernal arts, with his diab diabolical tricks to make fall she who was to defeat him, debilitate him, and bind him in the dark abyss. So for 4,000 years he kept always wondering, and when he would see women who were more virtuous and good, he would arm his battle and would tempt them in every way. And only then would he leave them when he would be assured by means of some weakness or defects that they were not she through whom he was to be defeated. And he would continue his wandering. So that's the situation. And, uh, you know, we, so now in this perspective and horizon of the original sin and promise of, of redemption, now we see the power of Blessed Virgin Mary, Immaculate Conception, Blessed Virgin Mary, who, through whom, uh, of course, our Lord was incarnate and came to the uh, to to rescue, and of course now we can see in the gift of living divine will of God the the incredible the awesome gift and power which God is giving us through Louisa, restoring us to this original state of life living. And in the same way, uh, in in the power of this divine will, we can we we crush we we are continuing crushing this her, her, her head of the serpent. And uh, I I there is more to this more um um. Uh, this beautiful uh, uh, entry of of this uh, uh, May nineteenth, nineteen thirty one, volume twenty, uh, volume twenty nine. But one more at the end of this entry. So listen to this because this is also a very interesting and powerful. Uh, uh, the last passage of this entry. Here, then, the necessity of the preparations. You see, we're talking about preparation to receive the gift of living divine will of God. So, the necessity of, of the preparation, of the graces, 
of my visits and communications. This sounded bad to those who have read, therefore doubts and difficulties that it cannot be possible that among so many other great saints, no one has lived in the kingdom of my will. So it is she alone that is preferred to all. And when they have read that it, I was placing you near the sovereign queen, so that she having lived in the kingdom of my divine fiat, you might imitate her, wanting to make of you a copy that resembles her. You see, Louisa was uh, led and taught and guided through our Lord Jesus to imitate Blessed Virgin Mary. And I place you in her hands. Jesus placed Louisa in her hands, like in a, a mother's hands, that she might guide you, assist you, protect you, so that you might imitate her in everything. This seemed so absurd to them, to those who don't believe, yeah, have question and doubts, and sinisterly misinterpreting the sense they spoke as if I had told you that you were as though another queen. It was there are some people in divine will of God who were, I don't know, hopefully not now, but there were people who were misguided that thought that Louisa is change is in, is now replacing blessed virgin mary no as you can see that uh, uh, it's just sinisterly misinterpreting and misinterpreting misinterpreting the the sense they spoke as if i had told you that you were as though another queen how much nonsense i did not say that you are like the celestial queen but that I want you similar to her, just as I have said to many other souls dear to me, that I want them similar to me. But with this, they would not become God like me. And then, since the celestial lady is a true queen of the kingdom of my will, it is her task to help and teach the fortunate creatures who want to enter and to live in it. By this they show as if I did not have the power to elect whom I want and when I want. But after all, time will say everything. And just as they cannot deny that the Virgin of Nazareth is my mama, so will they not be able to deny that I have elected you for the sole purpose of making my will known and that through you, I will obtain that the, ki that the kingdom come, thy kingdom come, may have its fulfillment. It is certain that creatures are an instrument in my hands, and I do not look at who it is, but I look at whether my divine will has decided to operate by means of this instrument. Very clear explanation to the, to the, to this. Uh, 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 divine will of God, lessons, teaching, reading, gui guidance. Mm. And this is enough for me to fulfill my highest designs. And of the doubts and difficulties of creatures, I make use in due time to confound them and humiliate them. But I do not stop and I move forward in the work that I want to do by means of the creatures. Therefore, you too, follow me and do not draw back. So it's more to this, but I, I encourage you to, to, if you are reading the calendar, okay, calendar for May. So it was, this was from May 19th. Uh, and even if you just listen, you know, it's only, almost half an hour or 35 minutes to listen entire entire uh, entry uh, for May 19th there is more to this but now we will we will we'll go to our topic uh, uh, we'll continue our topic uh, the having having kind of established this horizon that 
it's it's God's plan. It's God's divine will. Everything is part of God's divine will and plan of redemption, salvation, sanctification, the power of the Holy Spirit, Blessed Virgin Mary, Louisa, everything fall into right place. So, and uh, kind of having established this, uh, this ground, okay, for just to remind you this. Uh, so we continue. Uh, so, um, uh, okay, if you, if you find volume eight, we will start from volume eight. March 29th, 1908, volume eight, March 29th, 1908. Okay, so, and um, this, uh, uh, I will, I will read this passage. It's a short entry and just, uh, uh, focus uh, <clears throat> we uh, so uh, as we talk about beauty of the soul living divine will of God we had passages maybe for those who are joining us first time we were talking from volume 7 uh, entries volume 7 January 30th February 12th October 3rd it was about the soul must be constant and conform to God's the soul living divine will is like without boundaries is entering this infinite infinite uh, uh, horizon of God let's say like this and another simplicity simplicity of the soul living divine will of God uh, um, Jesus is the master of the of the soul in in divine will of God. So to, uh, now, peaceful souls sit at the divine table, and this is something interesting here. Uh, so listen first. Listen to this passage. Uh, this morning on coming, blessed Jesus seemed to carry a black mantle. And drawing near me, he seemed to place me under it, saying, In this way I will envelop all creatures as within a black mantle. And he disappeared. First, when I read this, I was I was thinking, what is this this what's going on here? <laughs> Jesus is putting us in a on a like a a, a, a dark black mantle, like we are like blind blindfolded I, I I yeah and precisely this is like this it's like to to cover our eyes to cover our mind cover our thoughts cover our all questions and doubts just Jesus wants us to cover in and in this kind of dark spot like Saint John, perhaps Saint John of the Cross, who went through the dark night of senses. Yeah, he's testing. He's testing us. Let's let's see. How do you? What what faith do you have in your heart? How do you trust me? Don't don't you don't you uh, feel? Don't you uh, see that sometimes? We, how many times we were in the situation that it's it's kind of. We are in, in a in a dark spot, bl blindfolded, like, and we don't know what's going on. We don't understand situations. We some some maybe drama, tragedy, something. These are precisely moments when we learn to put all our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus. I trust in you. Not that I know everything, that I understand everything, I see everything, everything is not, everything is clear. That's no problem in the situation like this. But when suddenly we, we are totally blinded, that's the moments when we can test our faith and trust in the Lord. And Jesus is telling Louisa in such a moment, that's the moment when when soul, which soul is, is precious 
beautiful in the eyes of, of, of God, when it still keep peace. And we, re, we continue to, I remain concerned. So Louisa is concerned about certain, I, I remain concerned because of some chastisement and I prayed to, to, to the Lord to come back for I could no longer be without him. But I was as though bothered by that side from before. Then after much hardship, he came carrying a cup filled with some liqueur. He gave me some to drink. And then he added, my daughter, peaceful souls, eat at my same table and drink at my cup. And the divine archer does not nothing but dart through them continuously. And no dart is wasted. All of them, all of them wound the loving soul. And the soul faints while the divine archer continues with his arrows, we've now make her die of love, now give her back new life of love, and from her wounds the soul shoots her darts to wound the one who has so much wounded her. So as peaceful soul in the is the delight and the amusement of God, while with turbid soil souls, if the divine archer darts through them. The darts are wasted by the soul, leaving him embittered and forming the diabolical amusement and taste. Uh, how many, I remember in my priestly ministry, how many times I met some people who were going through some really heavy duty, dark, dark uh, moments in their lives different tragedy, drama, sickness, illness, terminal illness, dying of loved ones or suffering, pain, different situation like this. And in this, you either still continue to be in dialogue, conversation, uh, 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 correspondence, as Jesus was saying, with God in peace and love. Imagine Blessed Virgin Mary at the foot of the cross. She was, we can be sure, she was absolutely in, in perfect peace, calm, in the, in the moment, in the highest, darkest and tragic moment, we can be absolutely sure she was in, in a, still in peace and in perfect dialogue, this uh, unity with, with God, with Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what we're talking about, this peaceful, calm heart in the drama, tragedy drama. And I said, how many times in my priestly ministry I encounter sometimes people who were in, in a dramatic, tragic uh, situation, they were so cursing all the world, God, world, government, leaders, swearing, crying, screaming, cursing, uh, uh, hating, every, everything, whatever is going on in, 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 around them. This is precisely this, these moments of Jesus is talking to Louisa, the beauty of the soul, living divine will of God. Uh, no fear, worries, anxieties. No negativity, no complaints. That's the peaceful soul. Peaceful soul who still, who in such a, a, a like a moments, like we know, if you're familiar with like John the, of the Cross, dark, dark night of the senses, and the experience of the saints, uh, uh, mystics, mystical souls, victim souls. Um, uh, the, there is this story when Louisa, were, she was in bed and she was crocheted with, with doing uh, some crochet. And I think I mentioned this another time that, and apparently the story is that someone burst into room and uh, in her room and started the, 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 about the first world war broke out. And she was just, well, we have to pray. Yeah. So in this same spirit of attitude of peace, calm, 
simplicity, uh, that full, fullness of trust. Uh, that's a that's a soul. Beauty of the soul, living divine will of God. Uh, as, as the even title of this is, peaceful souls are the delight of God. Uh, because you know, Louisa was perfectly united with Christ, with Christ's suffering, with Christ's crucifixion. Uh, with Blessed Virgin Mary, and that's what one of the aspects of this spiritual life, divine will of God in our hearts, is to 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 uh, to be united through in, in in suffering and pain and cross. First, this mystical marriage of the cross, mystical marriage of humanity with humanity of the Lord. So, okay, we going move on. Volume 8, April 5th. It's just below, really. Next following passage. Um, so, all that the Queen Mama contains has its origin in the fiat, in the divine will of God. We, we, we just had, we just read this uh, 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 at the beginning about uh, from, from the calendar on May 19th. Uh, so uh, let's read this one. Continuing in my usual state, I found myself outside of myself, within a garden in which I could see the Queen Mama placed on a very high throne. I yearned to go up there to kiss her hand. And as I tried to go, she came to meet me, giving me a smacking kiss on my face. In looking at her, I saw as though a globe of light in her interior. And within that light, there was the word fiat. From that word descended many different unending seas of virtues, graces, greatnesses, glory, joys, beauties, and everything that our Queen Mama contains as a whole. Everything was rooted in that fiat. And all of her goods took their origin from the fiat. O oh, omnipotent, fecund, holy fiat. Who can comprehend you? I feel mute. It is so great that I can say nothing. Therefore, I stop here. You see, even Louisa was just so amazed about seeing Blessed Virgin Mary in such a beautiful uh, uh, state of, of living in divine, state of, of, of divine will of God, divine indwelling. We have one of the, uh, we just celebrated the Feast of Pentecost, one of the great gifts of Pentecost, a gift of awe. It's not so much fear of God, but awe, which is to be amazed of the beauty of God. The, the Holy Spirit gives us this feeling. Of course, we have to be, uh, fear of God is one thing, to, to be afraid of uh, God's justice, for example, but we should be more afraid to, and that's the, this fear of God, all, gift of all, to, to ruin something what is beautiful. That's what it is. The true. So I'm afraid. Not so. We should be afraid of God. Not so much that God will kind of punish us, but uh, we should be afraid to to destroy, to ruin the perfect, beautiful relationship with God, our loving relationship with God. Children should be afraid, for example, to. That uh, that's what uh, as a me as a missionary of Our Lady of La Salette who who have uh, who, who who all the charism is from the Blessed Virgin Mary crying in tears at La Salette. So uh, uh, and uh, Maximilian Melanie witnesses of this apparition at La Salette. Uh, they first they thought that it was Mother who came up the mountains to cry because of her children hurt her and how right they were in thinking this way because 
Mary was truly really hurt, hurt by those who hurt her son. And so the same uh, when we think about uh, a, a true gift of, of the Holy Spirit, the fear of God or gift of all is to, uh, to, to simply to, to love so much, like church, let's say children, to uh, love uh, her, th their parents to the point that they would not dare to hurt them in any way, to, to harm them, to do something which would harm them. And in this relationship, perfect loving relationship with parents comes perfect loving relationship with God. Loving God so much that I would... I would, uh, like saints, you see, saints like St. Stanislav Kostka, Polish saint, was saying, I would rather die than, than sin. Uh, that's, that's the attitude, that's the character, the beauty of the soul, even more in divine will of God. So we continue to, to read this. So I looked at her with amazement, and she said to me, my daughter, all my my sanctity came out from within the word fiat. I did not move even for one breath, one step, one action, or anything at all, if not within the will of God. My life, my food, my all was the will of God. And this produced such a sanctity, riches, glories, honors for me, not human, but divine. So the more the soul is united, identified with the will of God, the more she can be called holy, and she is loved more by God. And the more she is loved, the more she is favored, because her life is nothing but the product of the will of God. How can he not love her if she is his own thing? Therefore, one must not look at how much or how little he does, but rather at whether it is wanted by God. In fact, the Lord looks more at something little, if, it's, if, if it is according to his will, than at something great without it. You see, that's one thing is like, uh, you know, God loved us. Some, some, some can be loved more by God, some less. That's the truth. It's theological truth. It's kind of like one of, uh, like, I remember when Father Child Ripperger, which was, if you ever heard Father Child Ripperger listen to his some conferences, he said, Bologna to think <laughs> It is baloney to think that God loves everyone the same way. No. Some he loves more. Some are he's more favored than the others. And, and of course, the way how he loves Blessed Virgin Mary, the way God loves Jesus, it's not the same way how he loves me and any other, any other else. I believe God loves me immense love. But I even can't compare that he would love me the same way how he loved his son Jesus, O oh, Blessed Virgin Mary. Oh. So, yes, he loves us all. His love is immense. His mercy, compassion is absolutely uh, outstanding, is, is super, super uh, infinite. But, but, but uh, uh, in God is also. The, this uh, this way of loving more or, or a little bit less. So um, and uh, so, but we see in this in this uh, 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 in the Blessed Virgin Mary the beauty, the wonder who Mary is comparing to anybody else. Okay, so we have we have question here. Yes, so. So, of course, his love for the blessed mother of Jesus would be different. His love for her, but his love for me would be his whole new love that he has for me. Yes. 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 Um, yeah. yes. It's like, you know, it's, uh, no, we, we try to calculate like human being or 
oh my like you have i'm the youngest of nine and i remember that one of my sister had a problem with the other sister because she always was saying oh that the the other sister is more favored than she is and and things like this so we may be we children can think that oh my mom loved more this brother or more that brother than me you know? and I could be oh poor me my mom doesn't love me like the others no it's everyone you see everyone is is um, uh, is loved in in uh, in absolutely perfect way and but also this love we can try to see and understand that love, God loves us, is also part of this, what God gives us. So it's obvious that that uh, even when we, uh, hopefully we will all one day see each other in heaven and we will be different. Each one of us will have this different, hopefully, holiness perfection glory in god's this god's divine indwelling and but and this will be the effects of god's love each one of us will be filled up to the brim and shine but but uh, i don't know it's something like the choirs jesus was talking also the living divine will of god brings us to the life in in the choirs of divine will of God. So each one of us, so uh, someone may say, oh, you are, uh, yeah, I can see that God, but there won't be any jealousy in heaven. Oh, I can see that you have more gifts than me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see that God gives you more than me. Oh, there is no jealousy. There won't be any jealousy in heaven, okay? So forget about this. Like, it's the fact that we will be we will be filled up to the brim, however we are disposed, however we love God, so God loves us, and everything will be wonderful, beautiful. So uh, <clears throat> we continue. We go to volume 8, July. Uh, we continue volume 8, July 26. July 26, so we uh, another page further. Very short, very short entry, which tells us now about, uh, uh, and we we all we continue to think in the context of beauty of the soul. Which souls are are these beautiful souls in divine will of God? This this characteristic, and and so this one is about obedience. Okay, very short entry. Obedience, continuing in my usual state, blessed Jesus came for just a little and told me, my daughter, obedience is the ark of my dwelling in the soul. Where this ark of obedience is not present, I can say that there is no place for me in that soul. And I am forced to remain outside. You may remember from the volume second that uh, the the confessor gave the obedience to Louisa not to speak to Jesus, not to talk to Jesus. And she was in torment, in pain and suffering, and she was and she was trying to convince Lord she was calling and calling and praying lord jesus, jesus and jesus of louisa obedience obedience you may remember this uh obedience obedience and well confessor was just testing that was test of louisa louisa you will stop talking to the lord that was, it was almost unimaginable for her. It was unimaginable suffering and pain, like dying. Uh, and and so the that's also the the, the obedience uh, uh, the as one of the characteristic of beauty, beautiful soul. 
<clears throat> All right, so now uh, we go to August 19th, just across the street from this passage. <laughs> uh, August 19th, the souls must sow good with her whole being. Having, die, having done my meditation on the fact that one who sows good will harvest good and one who sows vices will harvest evils, I was thinking about what good I could sow, given my position, my misery and inability. You know, remember, she, she was just in bed. She thought, I, I, I'm doing nothing. I'm just sitting in bed and that's it, maybe you know, praying and reflecting, writing, but... Uh, at, at that moment, I felt I was being harvested. And I heard him say in my interior, the soul must sow good with her whole being, with all of it. The soul possesses. And here is a few points, very, interest, very, very interesting point. I even put my stars by, by this text. So... Listen to this. So the soul possesses, this is all we talk of beauty of the soul, a mental intelligence, and she must apply it to comprehend God. This is gift of knowledge. The Holy Spirit is giving us gift of knowledge to know God. God is a mystery, yes. Yes, God is an immense, infinite mystery. But on the other hand, God wants us to know him. It will take time, infinite eternity. But God wants us to know him. And of this knowledge is to love him. If you remember the book, the first volume, very first pages of volume one, Jesus said, I am all what is was beautiful and deserve to be loved. So first, so you can you can mark that a mental intelligence, intellect. Uh, that's what we pray in the in the Praveen Act, flow in my blood and thing in my mind. Yes. So to think of good alone, never allowing any bad seed to enter her mind. In this is this in in this is the sowing of good with the mind. Remember also, you can recall how Jesus was referring to his crowning with thorns, how he suffered for thoughts, bad thoughts, evil thoughts, evil planning, evil. Uh, so, next, the same with her mouth. So, we have thought and mouth, lips. May our lips proclaim the, uh, the glory in, of God. So, she must never sow any bad seed. That is bad words, unworthy of Christian, but always say holy, useful, and good words. No complaints, no negativity. No complaints, no negativity. Mm, tough to these days. So here is a sowing of good with the mouth. Then with her heart, she must love God alone, desire God, palpitate for him, and tend to him. There is this, this that's what it is. It's like passion, desires, emotion, feelings, everything in a proper order of you will love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with, with, with everything uh, before you put into action and loving others. So then with her heart, she must love God alone. Yes. Here is the sowing of good with the heart. The, then with her hands, she must do holy works. With her feet, she must walk after the examples of our Lord. And here is another good seat. You see, this is what we what we like unity, isn't it? Beautiful unity prayer. It's 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 from from the 
Elizabeth Kindle, Flame of Love, but how how this unity prayer is is part, is a path to, to divine will of God. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together, may our hands gather in unity, may our hearts beat in unison, may our souls be in harmony, may our thoughts, may our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May, may our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the eternal Father. Amen. So, okay, next. On hearing this, we continue. On hearing this, I thought to myself, so in my position, I too can saw good in spite of my extreme misery. But I thought of this with a certain fear of the account that the master will ask of me, whether I have sown well. And in my interior, I heard him repeat, my goodness is so great that great wrong is done by those who make me know as severe, very demanding and rigorous, severe, sorry. It's, uh, those who make me know as severe, very demanding and rigorous. Oh, what an affront they give to my love. You see, living in divine will of God is the highest, noble, most beautiful way of living for us. It is a, the, the most beautiful state of, 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 of existence, uh, this. And... <clears throat> it, 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 that's what it brings this fullness of happiness. So I will ask for no other account but of the little field given to them. And I will ask for an account for nothing but to give them the fruit of their harvests. I will give it to the intelligence. For the more it has comprehended me in life the more it will comprehend me in heaven. You see? And the more it will comprehend me, the greater the joy that, and the beatitude with which it will be in, inundated. That's what we're just saying about God loves us. This, this, uh, more knowledge, more more, more uh, this, this compre com to comprehend me, in life, the more it will comprehend me in heaven. And the more it will comprehend me, the greater the joy and beatitude with which it will be inundated. inundated. To the mouth, I will give the harvest of the different divine flavors. It is voice will, will, its voice will harmonize above all the other blessed. To the works, I will give the harvest of my gifts and so with all the rest. What, what a, a, a powerful, beautiful message. If we think this, uh, of this, uh, the beauty of the soul. In, in a perfect way, express and in, 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 uh, manifest it in all the, in all our, through all our humanity, in all our humanity that, um, mm, thoughts, words, and actions. Yes. So, um, okay. We will now continue volume. We'll move to volume 10. And we have two passages. To, uh, mar I have two passages marked from volume 10. It's uh, from uh, and volume 10 will have a, a multiple, many years, many years are covered with volume 10. So we have first one is December 21st, 1911. So if we find December 23rd, 20, 21st, 1911. 
<clears throat> December 21st, 1911. Okay, so. As I was in my usual state, blessed Jesus came for a little while and placing himself in front of me, he looked at me all over. Those gazes penetrated me inside and out, and I became all light. And the more he looked at me, the more I sparkled. And through this light, he looked at the whole world. Then after fixing on me thoroughly, he told me, My daughter, my will is son. And one who lives in my volition becomes son. And only through this son do I look at the world and pour graces and benefits for the good of all. If there wasn't this son of my will in a few souls, the earth would become foreign to me. And I would sever any communication between the earth and heaven. So... We see here divine will of God, and we know this. Even Saint Thomas Aquinas writes that Blessed Virgin Mary, because she was she was full of the Holy Spirit, became a mother through the through this because she already has this gift of fullness of the Holy Spirit. She became a mother. Jesus and Jesus telling Louisa, "I was, I was in, I in." was incarnate because there and Jesus here is, is confirming this also that from that moment all those souls who are living who have this gift of the Holy Spirit through the sacrament of baptism sacrament of confirmation sacrament of holy holy eucharist a sacramental life all this makes us uh, uh, open and dispose for life, for indwelling of God in our lives, in our hearts. Uh, so if there wasn't the son of my will in a few souls, the earth would become foreign to me. Uh, and I would sever any communication between the earth and heaven. So the soul who does my will perfectly is like the sun in the world, with this difference that the material sun does good, giving light and material good, while the sun of my will in the soul impetrates both spiritual and temporal graces and gives light to the souls. Jesus was teaching, be the light, I am the light of the world. You be, become the light of the world. My daughter, let my will be your life, your all, even the holiest things, and even in my very privation. You certainly will not give me the sorrow of moving away from my will, even for just a little, will you? So, um, so the same, we... Uh, um, the, the question, like... Uh, do we uh, ha, do do we have gift of living divine will of God? E yes, little by little, few drops, few few drops. Few, we 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 made few steps in divine will of God. Jesus is confirming us every time when we make intention and we pray in the act of of a prevenient act, like all this is is little steps, little by little. Uh, 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 we not there yet fully, but yes, uh, the divine will of God is 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 already, I believe, reaching our our hearts, our souls, our minds, our thinking, our acting. It's uh, 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 but it, it we are we are not there fully yet. Uh, we we don't have this 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 full however we can say how many little steps and big steps and grades and levels 
characteristic if even when when you when you uh reflect when we can reflect on eight almost like how many eight thousand titles of Luisa Picoretta, uh, her, her characteristics. Uh, so uh, how, even Blessed Virgin Mary is a hundred times more probably uh, more uh, for this. So, uh, but you can you can count, make a list. Like okay, I, I have three, four, ten title. I can already. You know, you. Can, <laughs> I'm already here. I'm already here in this. In this, uh, I'm almost there. Yeah, a little bit more week by week. <laughs> so, um, um, so and Luisa, Luisa continued that I remained enchanted and he disappeared, and I am thinking to myself, what do these words of Jesus mean? Oh, maybe he wants to do something big to me. <laughs> that is to deprive me of him. Oh, may his most holy will be always blessed and adored. So, um, uh, she, 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 uh, and she, well, Louisa continued to con through all book, she continued to have these different questions and doubts, but Jesus told her, it's not your questions, no your doubts. It's just those who read, they will have questions and, and but uh, through our desire that, and disposition, we are open to, to uh, learn more these knowledges. Uh, okay, so we continue. We're going to now February 3rd, which is a few pages, uh, another page, just page away. And this is this February, February 3rd, 1912. February 3rd, 1912. This is a beautiful passage uh, that souls, souls are like, you see in the title, if, if in the soul there is no purity, upright work in love, she cannot be the mirror of Jesus. So basically, the divine beauty of the soul is like mirror, mirror of Jesus. February 3rd, 1912. So, okay. And this is actually the almost last entry of book, the volume 10. Continuing in my usual state, my always lovable Jesus came and placing his holy hand under my chin, he told me, my daughter, you are the ref to which to go and look at myself. Only then can a found serve as a mirror in which people can reflect themselves. When the found is pure, but it is of no use for the found to be pure if the waters are cloudy. It is useless for that found to boast about the preciousness of the stones on which it is founded if the waters are cloudy. Nor can the sun make its rays perpendicular so as to render those waters silvery and communicate to them the variety of colors. Nor can people reflect themselves in it. My daughter, virgin souls are the similes of the purity of the font. The crystal clear and pure waters are the upright working. The sun that makes its rays perpendicular is me. The variety of colors is love. Therefore, if I do not find purity, upright working and love in the soul, she cannot be my mirror. These are my mirrors in which I make my glory be reflected. With all the other, even if they are virgins, not only can I not reflect myself, but if I wanted to do so, I would not recognize myself in that. And the sign of all this is peace. From this, you will be able to know how various cares 
are the mirrors I have in the world. In fact, very few are the peaceful souls. So, uh, in this, uh, uh, and uh, another, there's another beautiful passage from May calendar on just yesterday. <clears throat> the, uh, on that uh, in order to understand this divine will of God, that is everything is of God. In divine will of God, everything is, is of God. And I, I will read I will read from the uh, another give you uh, just yesterday, May 20th. And uh, you don't need to look for this right now. it's it's okay. it's uh, uh, May 20th, it is a uh, volume three, May 20th uh, uh, from volume three. but listen to this. Uh, how uh, uh, Louisa was was uh, uh, thinking about the beauty of the universe and everything, and that's what Jesus told her. All nature invites one to rest. But what is true rest? It is the interior rest and the silence of all that is not God. If you remember from the same volume three, Jesus was telling about praying that sees your murmuring in your mind. So the same, this interior rest in God is the silence of all that did, does not belong to God, removing uh, to, to, uh, and so, and Jesus continued, look at the stars twinkling, with tempered light, not dazzling like the sun. The sleep and the silence of all nature, of man and also of animals, they all look for a place, a den in which to be in silence and rest from the tiredness of life. This is necessary for the body. Much more it is necessary for the soul to rest in her own center, which is God. If you're familiar with the uh, St. Teresa of Avila uh, interior castle, she walks from outside into deeper, uh, uh, deeper and deeper to the center of this castle where God dwells. But in order to be able to rest in God, interior silence is necessary. Just as exterior silence is necessary to the body in order to peacefully fall asleep, but and but what is this interior silence? It is to silence and listen to this. It is to silence one's own passions by keeping keeping them in their place. It is to impose silence on desires, on inclinations, on affections, in some, on all that does not belong to God, not call upon God. Now, what is the means to reach this? The only means and absolutely necessary is for the soul to undo her own being and reduce herself to nothing, just as she was before being created. Something very interesting that, that and once she has reduced her, her being to nothing, she must take it again in God. So in the act of creation, when God created us, he breathed breath in, in us. We know that from act of creation, God breath, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the breath in us. So 
man was created. Jesus telling Louisa, man was created like the world, whole universe was created. So the man would dwell in, humanity could dwell in the universe. And man, humanity was created so that God indwell in human soul. So at the beginning, this human soul was filled up only with what belongs to God. Through original sin, Adam messed up and Philip with, filled with, with his own passion, desires, inclination, affections. Led. So God left Adam with all this mess. Now we have to purify, like empty ourselves into this state of kind of, and then so that God could fill us again with his divine will. And uh, I didn't put there on the list, but just go to the next February 10. Uh, a volume, uh, uh, next, next passage. This is the last entry of volume 10. This is so also beautiful and, and powerful. <clears throat> Continuing in my usual state, my always lovable Jesus made him seen for just a little and told me my daughter when one leaves everything and operates for me and loves everything divinely all things are at his disposal and the sign that one has left everything for me and has reached the point of operating and of loving everything divinely is that in operating, in speaking, in praying, in everything, he no longer finds hindrances, displeasures, contrasts, oppositions, because in the face of this power of operating and of loving everything divinely, all lower their heads and dare not even breathe. In fact, I benefit benevolent father i benevolent father am always guarding the human heart and in seeing a slip away from me that is operating and loving humanly i put thorns displeasures bitternesses which prick and embitter the human work and love and the soul on seeing herself pricked realizes that the way of hers is not divine so she enters into herself and acts differently in fact the pricks are the sentinels of the human heart and they provide it with the eyes to be able to see who is the one who is moving her whether god or the creature on the other hand when the soul leaves everything and all operates and loves everything divinely she enjoys my peace and instead of having the sentinels and the eyes of the prickings she has the sentinel of peace which moves anything that can disturb her peace away from her and the eyes of love which put to flight and burn those who want to disturb her therefore they remain at peace with regard to the soul they give her peace with regard to the soul they give her peace and they place themselves at her disposal it seems that the soul can say nobody touch me because i am divine and i am fully my sweet love jesus nobody dare to disturb my sweet rest with my highest good and if you dare to with the power of Jesus, which is mine, I will put you to flight. It seems I have said much nonsense, but Jesus will certainly forgive me because I have done it to obey. <laughs> it seems as if I, if he assigns me a written essay. <laughs> That's very fun, interesting. <laughs> it seems as he assigns to me a written essay, and I... A little ignorant one and a child don't have the ability to develop it. <clears throat> so uh, 
I, I think I mentioned I uh, with uh, once that when I was uh, in a element in elementary school, and I got to essay to write something that I was maybe grade third or fourth. And sometimes I was like coming back home and I said, and I was terrorizing all, was my, all the sister. You write it. I'm not right. I'm not doing my homework. <laughs> so, and sometimes she did write my essays and my teachers were sometimes surprised. Hmm, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so... <clears throat> Uh, but I think they they uh, told also the teacher at some she she that because my, I think my my mom and teacher they knew each other very well and sister in a uh, highest grade uh, or, or two two grades older than me so she she <laughs> anyway so this is what so what is our essay what is our homework just read the book, read the book of heaven, uh, read, meditate, reflect, don't be afraid if we don't, don't be afraid if something we don't understand, don't get everything at once, it's like with the Bible, you read, the, um, but the same, it, it, it kind of, you, you can't, I can't imagine like someone say, oh yes, I'm Catholic, but I don't read the, the scriptures, or I, I, I don't read. I, I'm Catholic, but I don't go to the church regularly. Like, so it's like, I, yes, I, I, I believe in divine will of God. I'm learning, but I don't need to read a whole book. Like, I mean, it's <laughs> no, it's it's like the Catechism, like the Bible, Book of Heaven. It all comes nicely together. More we. Uh, and it, it, uh, I would like to just mention to remind you, you know, we can, uh, 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 first of all, of course, this is my book of heaven. You can see it's, it's marked, it's red, it's, it's uh, all from the beginning. So I read the whole book of heaven. Okay? I read this, this is my <laughs> book of heaven. But uh, so you, you can... Of course, when you read all the book, all the volumes, now then another thing you can read start if you either go to the book or read the calendar month by month, day by day. That's another way to study. Or uh, or uh, there are already resources to go like I go like the uh, kind of themes. Uh, there are many, uh, you can already find some resources on this, or you can even just take like, of course, 24 Hour Passions or uh, uh, Blessed Virgin Mary in the King of Heaven, or some doing the rounds. Actually, I wanted to show you, I don't know if you know this book, but this is um, Divine Will Prayer Book. And is also this is all is appeals of the Blessed Virgin, uh, uh, three appeals, rounds, uh, the uh, twenty four hour passions, the Mary in the Kingdom of Heaven, uh, Rosary reflection. All it's, uh, but I understand this is hard to get right now. This book. Uh, uh, divine will prayer book but this book is online you can actually print it out it's um it's whole entire book is online so you can you can uh, uh and uh even even you can just uh, like the Bible, you sometimes you open the Bible and read the passage of the scriptures. The same, you can just reopen the the Book of Heaven. But of course, the first you should really have read the whole whole book. Uh, that's the the first. Uh, okay, so we we continue and we we move to the volume 12 
uh, volume 12. And we, so we will start volume 12. We still have uh, uh, time for today. So, um, our first uh, passages from volume fell, uh, 12. Um, we have February 24th. February 24th, 1919. Because vol volume 12 has also multiple uh, uh, years. So find uh, February 24th, 1919. Uh, we got it. Yeah. In in this book is page five hundred sixteen. So, and that's one of these passages which tell tell tells us directly about how uh, the beautiful the soul is beautiful and surpasses all created things. So. <clears throat> Uh, in 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 and the title of this uh, this entry is is man the masterpiece of creative power of god so as i was in my usual state blessed jesus on coming told me my daughter you have said nothing about the creation of man the masterpiece of the creative power in whom not in sprays, but in waves, in rivers, the eternal one powered his love, or sorry, poured his love, his beauty, his mastery, and taken by excess of love, he placed himself as the center of man. But he wanted a worthy dwelling. So what does this uncreated majesty do? He creates man in his image and likeness. He draws a breath from the depth of his love. And with his omnipotent breath, he infuses life in him, endowing man with all his qualities, proportion to a creature, making, making, making him a little god. So everything you see in creation was absolutely nothing compared to the creation of man. Oh, how many more beautiful heavens, stars, sounds he extended in the created soul. How much variety of beauty, how many harmonies. It is enough to say that he looked at man created and he found him so beautiful as to become unmoored with him. And jealous of this portent of his, he himself made himself a, the custodian and possessor of a man and said, I have created everything for you. I give you dominion over everything. Everything is yours and you will be all mine. We have saints like St. Teresa of Child Jesus Nine years old girl, when she and she writes this in the story of the soul, when she received communion, she 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 wrote in in the story of the soul. Now Jesus, you are all mine, and I am all yours. Nine years old girl after rece receiving of the first holy communion, 
Teresa of Avila was writing that uh, if we could see the beauty of the soul, and she reflects that that God can, can create millions of universes and everything. He can repeat the creation, act of creation over and over and over again with everything. But the soul is only one. Each one of us was created just one. There is no more of your of of your soul is the only one in all the universe and your soul each soul is worth more than whole of creation its soul is worth of heaven its soul is worth of god's indwelling that's what we're talking about everything is yours and you will be all mine and if we go, I just, uh, because I have this, this is probably one of my most, mo most favorite uh, 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 passages from the book of heaven. I start to have some favorite passages. When Jesus uh, is telling Louisa that I am in the very first volume that so that he, I am all beautiful and deserve to be loved. I am all what is good and beautiful and deserve to be loved. From first volume. And the same, it's, it's the, the uh, let's say, we also have to love ourselves and love one another in a proper way. In divine will of God, we it's normal to love ourselves as God's creation, to love ourselves and to care for ourselves that we are God's creation destined for eternal light for heaven. In this this way, you uh, that's how we should love ourselves and each other in this pure perfect love. Uh, so we continue. You will not be able to comprehend everything. The seas of love, the intimate and direct relations, the likeness that runs between creator and creature. Oh, daughter of my heart, if the creature knew how beautiful her soul is, how many divine qualities it contains, and how among all created things, it surpasses everything in beauty, in power, in light, so much so that it can be said that it is a little God and a little world which contains everything within itself. Oh, how much more would she esteem herself and would not dirty with the slightest sin, a beauty so rare, so portentous, a prodigy of the creative power but the creature almost blind in knowing herself and much more blind in knowing her creator keeps dirtying herself among a thousand filthy things to the point of disfiguring the work of the creator so much so that she can barely be recognized. Think you yourself of what our sorrows is, Therefore, come into my will, and together with me come to substitute for our brothers before the throne of eternal one, for all the acts which they should do for having been created as a prodigy of love of his omnipotence, and yet they are so ungrateful. It's a, here we see the, the whole reason for 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 praying for the in divine will of god we pray like lord is praying in for past present and future for all those who like mary fatima was saying for the for believing for the, praying for loving for those uh, i believe you i love you i adore you right? and and i pray for those who do not pray don't believe don't love you don't adore you that's what we are 
in divine will of God, we are repairing humanity's position, uh, state. That's the whole meaning of this returning divine will, gift of living, divine will of God, and returning to this, bring us, our Lord is bringing us back to this. In one instant, we found ourselves before the Supreme Majesty, and in the name of all, we express our love, the thanksgiving, the adoration, for having created us with such a great excesses of love and endowed us with so many beautiful qualities. That's the divine will of God. Gift of living, divine will of God, bring us uh, back to this original state of life, living, beauty, or order of creation. <clears throat> uh, we go now to June 4th, this same June 4th, this just few pages away. Uh, Nineteen nineteen, and this gives us this understanding of Jesus' suffering. You know, Jesus' suffering, how can God? How can God show us or help us to understand the beauty of the soul or uh, the, the loss of beauty, of this beauty of the soul and life in God? Only through this, from, from, because of, through the suffering. We can only comprehend this, we can, we can by understanding the suffering, Suffering of the Lord, the mass, the, the immensity, God suffered for every human being, for every little, tiniest imperfection, sin, in order that only to redeem us, and also in order for us to comprehend this immensity, the wonder, the beauty. If it's if God is if God is suffering for me. The, I mean, it's absolutely, I can understand the, per, the, the, the goal, the purpose. It, it's something is important, something is absolutely most important, utmost important, if God is suffering for me, became a man for us, human being, incarnate human being, suffered, and this part of this, part of one kind of, Part of this suffering is that that we could comprehend. It's like, let's say, when I can imagine like parents, mother, father, mother, giving birth to a child. And right there, holding a little, little helpless baby in their arms, mom and dad are, I suppose, ready to give anything for this to, for the love of this child sacrifice and suffering to take care of this the the, the wonder of life in their baby so the same god is jesus is, is is kind of showing us this aspect of suffering because of the worthiness of the soul so let's let's uh, look at this one. I was thinking about the passion of my always lovable Jesus, especially when he found himself under the storm of the scourges. And I thought to myself, when did Jesus suffer more in the pains which the divinity had made him suffer during the whole course of his life on the last day on the part of the Jews? And my sweet Jesus, with the light that he sent to my intellect, told me, 
my daughter, the pains which the divinity gave me surpass by far those which creatures gave me, both in power and in intensity and multiplicity and length of time. However, there was no injustice or hatred, but highest love and, acc and accord on the part of all three divine persons in the commitment which I had taken upon myself to save souls at the cost of suffering as many deaths for as many creatures as would come out to the light of creation and which the Father had granted to me with highest love. Jesus suffered for every human being from the beginning till the end of time for every single tiniest imperfection and sin. This was the redemptive, salvific, sal sal salvation, sanctifying out of love. And a whole, tr tr in, in Christ, through Christ, in Christ, with Christ, the whole trinity and his mother. Neither injustice nor hatred exist in the divinity nor can exist. Therefore, it was incapable of making me suffer these pains. But man with sin had committed highest injustice, hatred. And I, in order to glorify the Father completely, was to suffer injustice, hatred, mockery, etc. Et this is why on the, on the last of my mortal days, I suffer the passion on the part of creatures in which the injustices and hatreds and mockeries, the revenge, re, re, revenges and humiliations that they use against me were so many as to render my poor humanity the opprobrium of all, to the point that I did not look like a man. They disfigured me so much that these were horrified in looking at me. It was the object and the refuse of all. So I could call them two distinct passions. The creatures could not give me as many deaths or as many pains for as many creatures and sins as would be committed by them. They were incapable of it. Therefore, the divinity took on this commitment, but with the highest love and accord on both sides. On the other hand, the divinity was incapable of injustice. And so creatures took over, and I completed the work of redemption and everything. How much souls cost me. And this is why I love them so much. And St. Paul write in letters to the Corinthians that God humbled himself to the point of, of humiliated himself to the point of suffering death on the cross, even death on the cross. And uh, this is what we see in the passion, 24 hour passion of, of, of Jesus Christ, not so much his external suffering as much internal suffering, passion. Uh, and uh, for example, compare this to, to the bully, like abusing someone he's abusing, uh, let's say bullies in the school, little children. And we already, and we, we, we know this, there are hundred kids who, who just, uh, and Jesus said in the gospel that you can kill by word. Uh, uh, I, you were told, that you will not, you shall not kill. But I tell you, whoever say the word uh, of something against the brother or sister, you know, you can already hurt and kill someone. And we know this. There are children aged 9, 10, 11, 12, teenagers who are even committing suicide because they were abused or, or hurt, even just by word. And on the other hand, we know this also that someone who is abused and abused by word, they were capable of the, the highest degree of hatred, even to the point that they were bringing guns to the school and shooting their colleagues, teachers in the school for just the abuse. So that's 
and that's what we see in the 24-hour passion of our Lord. When we, you know, when you read, this is why Jesus also gives so powerful uh, effects to the reading and reflecting, meditating, praying the 24-hour passions, because it is, it is Him, it is in Him, with Him, through Him. So, and continue. We continue this. Is probably we will finish here. Maybe giving a few minutes of rest or questions. Another day, I was thinking to myself, my beloved Jesus has told me so much, and I have been I have been attentive to do what He has taught me. Oh, how I lack in contenting Him! How incapable I feel of everything! So His many teachings will be my condemnation. And my sweet Jesus, moving in my interior, told me, My daughter, why do you afflict yourself? The teachings of your Jesus will never serve to condemn you. Even if you did only once what I have taught you, it had, it's always a star that you place in the heaven of your soul. In fact, just as I extended a heaven over the human nature and my fiat studied it, with stars, so have I extended a heaven in the depth of the soul and the fiat of the good that she does, because every good is the fruit of my will, comes to embellish this heaven with stars. So if she does 10 goods, she places in it 10 stars. If a thousand goods, 1,000 stars. So think rather of repeating my teachings as much as you can in order to stud with stars the heaven of your soul so that the heaven of your soul may not be inferior to the heaven that shines over your horizon. And each star will carry the mark of the teaching of your Jesus. How much honor you will give me. Amen. Fiat. And this is only just a little bit of this wonder and beauty. <laughs> and so we will continue. So we finish on June 4th. And we will continue uh, uh, next, uh, next uh, session. There's still more. Uh, uh, passages. Um, okay, I don't know who. Two, three, four. Oh, ho, ho, we had few. We had m many, 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 many. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, um, uh, if I'm counting well, this was 144 or more, 150, over 150. Great, wonderful. So I don't yeah, don't see any, any, any. Oh, there is something here. Is it? Uh, can you repeat the question? We could not hear the lady speaking. Okay, okay, okay. So, moment. What uh, you were? Uh, what did you? Uh, sorry. What the? Well, uh, God's love. Oh, the fullness of love, fullness of love. That that the question was regarding the love, regarding the love that uh, 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 God's love for us, and basically, I, I, I my answer was that that uh, uh, God loves us to the fullness. It we can distinguish. We cannot think there would be. Uh, not right. We cannot say that God loves God loves everyone the same way. No, sorry, sorry. But God does love us some with more and some less kind of thing. But everyone is loved with a fullness. It's like you would feel you have different uh, glasses, different size, and everyone is filled with 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 God's love to the brim. And that's what we re read, one of the passages that according to our disposition, according to our uh, openness to God's gifts, some receive more, some receive less. 
and the same may uh, in in heaven uh, our halos in heaven some will be brighter than the others <laughs> and this will be the sign of god's love if your halo in heaven will be brighter than mine or swerver it, will, it means that god gives you out of love you love him more god gives he gives you more and Sorry, Father Luke, you didn't love me like she or her loves me. So she have more love, more g g gifts. And, and, <laughs> and that's what, uh, like, uh, uh, so that's to, 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 this to, to uh, 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 and uh, the beauty, beauty of the soul. So we will continue this beauty of the soul. And uh, I would like to finish. I don't know how how often do you say. Uh, I uh, uh, I say this uh, prayer every day. The uh, prayer command prayer to end all evil, and 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 prayer for divine healing. I say this prayer every day, like, uh, like uh, a, a Praveen act, or so. I would invite you to all who are listening, and and just to remind you, and e even when you know when you say this prayer, this prayer itself is telling it, teaching us so much, and telling us so much. So may we finish this. <clears throat> our con our our this conference with prayer the uh, command prayer of divine healing prayer yeah so um, uh, uh, we we always start and I, I I always I would like yeah the divine healing so I always add here even it's uh, under the mantle of Mary I always add and a powerful protection of Saint Joseph so. Uh, we we pray. Are we ready there and ready there? Or so participate uh, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we bring to all to to our intentions this divine will in a power. And we pray in divine will of God for all past, present, and future to bring healing to all those who need this healing reparation forgive forgiveness reconciliation conversion healing abba father in the name of jesus in the unity and power of the holy spirit under the mantle of mary and powerful protection of saint joseph with all choirs of angels and saints through the intercession of the servant of god luisa picaretta we make this prayer for divine healing O oh, Jesus, we are so very ill and infirm and are in great need of the divine healing power of your most holy divine will. Fulfill what the priest prays every day at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. This is beautiful. That we may share in your divinity as you share in our humanity. You told Louisa that it is your will to see your children healed. Oh, Jesus, you have redeemed us, but we are still decayed humanity. We want to return back to our origin, the origin that you wanted from the beginning. We pray with Louisa in the name of all souls, past, present, and future, to bless us so that we may all rise again to our beginning. May your blessings impress in us the triple seal of the power, the wisdom, and the love of the three divine persons. And may it restore us back to our original strength, he and heal us and enrich us. O oh, Jesus, you communicate your knowledges, your promises, your truths to us through Louisa to divinely heal your little children with them. You told Louisa that it is just and decorous for you and for men that he no longer be sick, but that he be divinely healthy again, so as to begin to enter into the kingdom of your divine will. This is why the knowledges, promises, and truths about divine healing are needed. So it's necessary to read and pray in divine will of God. Oh, Jesus, we pray you to liberate us from all evils, both spiritual and corporal. Through Louisa, we divinely hope in you, Lord, both in spiritual things and corporal things, so that by sharing in divinity, both shall participate. 
Oh, Jesus, your divine will possesses the miraculous power that whoever lets himself be dominated by it shall be subject to no evil. There is no remedy which is more divinely effective, more divinely appropriate, more divinely healing, and which blocks the fury of these winds within the soul than the power of the light of your divine will and the eclipse formed by it. O oh, Jesus, we pray you to quickly let our little Mama Luisa through you make the miracle of miracles that the divine will wants her to make, that is, giving your divine will to your children and making the divine will known and reign. O oh, Jesus, make the miracle of miracles through Luisa, who shall do more than anything. Luisa shall place the salvation, the sanctity of sanctities, the divine nobility of your children back in safety. That shall also banish all our corporal maladies caused by the fact that your divine will does not yet reign. O oh, Jesus, compassionate doctor, divinely heal mankind, transform the sad condition in which poor humanity finds itself in. We, thou redeemed, are still that of a poor ill one. Your most holy divine will shall give your children the divine healing, divine restoration of true health, clothe mankind again in royal garments, the divine beauty worthy of you, almighty God. O Jesus, divinely heal mankind through the power of the Holy Spirit by raising us up again as you promised. Perform miracles and prodigies with the power of your divine will and call back to life those who are dead to grace and give a great miracle than resurrection of Lazarus for all your children in every home, family, parish, church around the world. <laughs> Amen. Fiat. O oh, Jesus, with the divine breath of the Holy Spirit, breathe in mankind as you breathe into Adam in the beginning. In the fullness of your image and likeness, we beg you to restore us perfectly and divinely heal us. Render your children as beautiful as you have always planned for mankind to be. That your children recognize your paternal goodness and how much you love us, Lord mighty God. Please take our humble prayer and make it your command. That your little children be divinely healed, may all be accomplished and completed in your most holy divine will. We believe, we receive, fiat, amen, so be it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. And may Almighty God bless you, all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Fiat voluntas tua, fiat voluntas tua, fiat voluntas tua, amen. <clears throat> All, all of you, God bless you. Until next Tuesday, 10 o'clock. God bless you all.